Hi guys, hope you're well. Um, this is just a short video. A number of you guys have been asking how I create the white borders around my images. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to show how I do it. Now, there's actually two ways you can do it because I'm normally um, applying that border to several photographs. Um, I actually create an action and then apply that action to a group of photographs, okay? But we'll talk through how I how I actually achieve the white border and then how you can create an action to make it easy if you've got several images you want to apply it to. Then obviously that action, you can actually create that action for anything you want. Anything you do in Photoshop, you can create that action for and it makes the bulk processing a lot easier, okay? So we'll jump on over to, to Photoshop, but we'll jump over, over to uh, Adobe Bridge now and I'll show you what I mean. All these, these four images, which are off my um, home abstract video, um, have got a big chunky white border around them, okay? It really sets them off. Sometimes I'll have a really slim border, like a 10% um, white border, and then these have got a 20% white border. So yeah, it just makes it jump off the page a little bit. Um, okay, so let's, let's jump in and have a look how that's done. So I've got this folder here, which you'll see it's got no, uh, called no border. So if you look at all these images, these are those files without, uh, if I'll just show you, these are those files without the, um, the border on it. And what we're gonna do is we'll go in, into Photoshop Right, so let's go in Photoshop and create that white border. So I'll just show you how we've, how we've done it. There's a few e easy, well, there's an easy way of doing it, which is Command, Alt, and C, which will bring up canvas size. Now, if you, uh, I'll do the, the slower way, which is image, then down to canvas size. And you can see, if you're on a PC, it might be Command, sorry, Control, um, Alt, and C. I'm not sure, not a PC user. Um, so click canvas size, it'll bring up this window. As I said about different percentages, so that image I showed you was using 20%, so we'll use a 20%, uh, if I press tab, it'll go down to 20% there. And then we want to make sure this box here that says relative is checked. Um, and then obviously that says percentage. Now this box down the bottom here can actually decide what color border you have. And obviously we want a white one, so we'll cancel that, leave that white. And if I click OK, zoom out a bit you'll see I've got the white border around the image dead dead easy so as simple as that and obviously you can save that then as a, as a, as a white border version but what I actually do is create actions for things like that so because I know I've got multiple if I was doing a wedding or a commercial thing and I wanted to have the same effect to 50 60 or 150 photographs I, I don't want to do that individual process on every one so if we get rid of uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll go back to when they didn't have the action there we didn't have the border there, sorry. And what we'll do is we'll create an action. So if we go up to window, if you, if you open your Photoshop and you haven't got actions there, actions would normally be displayed over here. It's like a little play box. If you go up to window and then come down here, you'll see actions there. Uh, click on actions. Now you've got um, all your folders here. So what you want to do is create a folder. You can have actions for different types of image, uh, different types of images. I used to have loads actually, I don't, I don't touch them now any, a, a, at all. Hardly touch Photoshop to be honest with you. Um, but right, okay, so what we'll do is create a new folder so that that means it's easier for us to find the new, um, the new, the new actions. And we'll call it um, um, Gareth Video we'll call it Gareth Video. Okay, so we've got an action folder. So that's created this folder here. And then what I want to do now is create an actual action, which is this little box with a cross in it. So we click on that and we'll call it white border 20%. Okay, so as soon as I hit the record button, you can actually collect, uh, create shortcut, short, shortcuts for, for, for this action if you wanted to. But as soon as I hit record, Photoshop's going to start recording everything I do. Okay, so I'll hit record. And obviously I have to, I'm oh, sorry, I didn't point out that you have to actually select, the, it's very important that you select the right, the right set that it's going into as well, make sure that's set. Okay, so hit record. You'll notice over here that the, the little, the little red record, but uh, record circle showing and it's starting to record everything I do to this image. Okay, so there's no rush. There's no time, time scale to do it. It's just so take your time and then it will just remember, it will just um, store everything you do. So we know that we want to apply 20% to the borders of this, so that's the shortcut was Command, Alt, and C. So that brings up canvas size. Okay, so if I go down to um, width, I wanna make sure I'm on percentage. I mean, I could have pixels or inches or centimeters or anything else, but I wanna use a percentage. So I want 20% width, I want 20% height, and I wanna make sure this box relative is ticked. Uh, so make, make sure everything's square, okay? Uh, if I come down here, I've got the option to have different backgrounds. So we know that, that um, 
if I look down on the bottom left hand side of, the, of, of Photoshop I can see that my background is selected white so that's why it's come up white here so if I wanted to change the color of the border that we're going to create I could obviously just do it there um, but we don't want to do that so we we'll click OK that's now going to create that border for us okay as far as we're concerned as with that action we can actually press stop now that is job done okay we can hit stop and all that information has been stored there okay so it's literally very very simple you can actually obviously do very far more complicated um, actions than that so that's that done so what we'll do just to make sure that works we will go Control z so we've got the image without the uh, the white border on it and then obviously i can go then to white border 20 percent just to click on the action we've just created in gareth video set and then hit play and it automatically goes through and changes it and, and, and creates everything you've just told it to create brilliant so that was easy so we go Control z again close that down and that's that that would be that done but what i want to do is i want to i want to add that action i want to add that to all of these images so i want all these images to have that border instantly okay so we want to make use of that action so what we'll do is we'll go back to photoshop and then in, instead of opening any of the files what you do is go to file and then slide down to where it says script and then slide over to image processor okay sorry if i'm going a bit fast on this i struggle to do things like this slowly um, what we want to do is you see it says the image pro processor select the images to process so obviously we click select folders select folder and then it automatically goes into because obviously i've just done this it goes into no border so obviously just navigate to wherever your uh, your photographs are being stored i've obviously created a folder called no border for the photographs who don't have a border yet so we'll click that oops We'll click that open that folder okay it says number two select location to save pr processed images well it's going to save them in the same location in a subfolder in the original folder so that keeps everything simple we know where they're going to be and obviously then if you need to resize them for anything like that um instagram whatever you wanted to do you could obviously do that there we don't want to do that so if we go down to um, actions uh, sorry preferences this is what it's going to basically process basically so if we get rid of default actions and go down to the um, the set that we created which was gareth video and the only one we've created in there so far is white border 20 percent so that's the one that's coming up there is another one which i created before which is white border 10 percent and sometimes i run that once and then run it again to see which i prefer so i've got a 10 percent version and a 20 percent version but for this obviously for this occasion we've created this for the video we know we want a, a whiteboard of 20 percent and if we hit run that's going to open all the files in that folder as you can see it's doing it instantly you don't even don't even get a chance to see it and if we get rid of photoshop now in the no border folder we were a minute ago we've got this jpeg file here and if we open that now we can see all the files there with the 20% border. And just to demonstrate what I mean, this might look ridiculous, but if I go back to Photoshop and go file scripts and run that process again, image processor, um, select folder. So this time, instead of being no border, let's use the JPEG, uh, let's use the JPEG board, um, folder we've just created. So these images have already got a border on them. So let's open those ones. And again, same, same location, Gareth Video, down the preferences at the bottom, Gareth Video. So we're adding another 20% to them and then click run. Okay, so if we go down back to Finder and then this is the JPEG folder it's just created. So obviously these ones have got the border. And if we open, oh, if we open that file, these ones have got the border twice. So if I show you all them, they're 40%. <laughs> so yeah, it's just, it's just, I mean, that's sometimes that's nice to print like that and then stick it straight in the frame because you don't need to go out and buy a mount. So yeah, um, but that's it. That's how I do it. Dead, dead easy. And as I said, actions are really, really handy in Photoshop if you're going to do something uh, like um, batch posts, black and white or batch posts, um, a certain crop to, to a file or if you want to resize something and you don't use Lightroom you know there's anything that you want to do in, in Photoshop you can add that action you can get that to record so it's, it's really really good handy thing to have so yeah give it a go see what you think uh, but yeah hope that's helpful sorry it's a uh, 
nice short video for you. <laughs> Anything that, that, that I do that you'd like sort of to know how I do, just drop it in the comments and I'll happily do a video. We've got absolutely acres of time at the minute and we to, uh, to do this. So uh, yeah, I hope that was helpful. And uh, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe, uh, subscribe button and I'll see you again in future videos. Take care guys, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.